Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D. Boss reacts to this video by Playback. It's titled, She Wants to Abandon Her Kids for Happiness. I know you lying. I've been seeing some things as of late about mothers coming out. They're being more transparent on social media about the struggles of, of motherhood and how they're over it. And it's just like, child, you... You, you made this decision, though. I do sympathize with them on one end, but on the other end, it's like, all right, child, the kids are already here. Like, you got to suck it up, buttercup. I don't know what you want us to do, but um, we can't help you, and I don't think the best solution is to just abandon your kids because you want to have fun now. That That's not how it works. Anyway, let's see what's going on, though. I might be prejudging the situation. Let's get all the facts. Let's watch. I'm holding this story in for a while, but now I think I'm going to say it because... I feel like I just want to ask moms and married women, are y'all okay? Like, are y'all generally okay? Because although I'm young, I'm 23, I turn 24 in December, oh, and I'm not cool. married, or I'm, and I don't have kids yet. I just started my career, just graduated college. I don't live alone. <laughs> y'all don't make it look fun, right? So in real life, and on social media I do, but not in real life. So basically, I was going to go get sushi, and they don't close until like 1 a.m., right? Because I have so many college kids that lives around me. So basically, I was going in there probably like around 12 o'clock I was going in there, and it was an older woman in there. Wait, it was a woman in there. And she was in there like sitting in the corner. And I know the staff there, and they were trying to think of ways to like politely tell her to leave, right? Me being me. I go and I sit near her and I'm like, and as I got closer to her, as I sat down, she's like, tears just slide down her face. Like tears just slide down her face. And so I'm like, man, I don't want to be in your business. Like, can I hand you a napkin? Like, is everything okay? Can I hand you a tissue? Like, how are you feeling? And she's just like, you can tell she held back, right? She held back. And then... She just starts like letting it all out and she's just like, I don't want to go home to my kids. She's like, I have two young kids and she just doesn't want to go home to them. Like she just wants to run away and start a whole new life without them. The fuck? She has a brain disorder. This my, what the hell are you talking about? You want to run away from your kids? Uh, when I first saw this, I thought she was going to say the husband cheated, the husband Me was too. bopping on her. It's like something that the husband was doing. And this was like, you're, you're telling me that because you weren't prepared to have children, that you're at the, at a random restaurant crying about, again, I don't want, first of all, this idea of like, y'all don't make marriage seem like it's fun. Bro, like, I don't know why y'all think that life is just gonna be fun 24 seven. I don't, I don't get that. There's gonna be hard time. I feel that, but I'm also side eyeing her because it's like, I just feel like it, this comes across very condescending. First off, you said our moms and wives, are y'all okay? Because you witnessed that this isolated incident, like you sound so stupid. There are obviously moms and wives who are okay, they are happy, but you want to focus on the negative and make it seem like, oh, y'all ain't making this look fun. It looks terrible. Like, that's so stupid. If you don't want to get married or have kids, that's a personal decision. But to try to make it seem like, oh, it's just, it's bad because mm, look what I saw. Like, I just feel like that's that's ridiculous. You didn't have to do all of this. And this story, do I want to believe it? I don't know. Because I don't trust you. I don't, I, don't like, <laughs> I don't like how you're moving in this video at all. I just feel like you're doing the fucking most. And I, I feel like you're trying to justify why it doesn't make sense for you to be a wife or for you to uh have kids and i don't feel like you need to do all of that and to be like y'all not making it look fun what the fuck other people's situation got to do with you it has nothing to do with you you're gonna have a very different experience than everybody else that you are witnessing that you're gonna have a different experience than this lady you met in the sushi spot than a random bitch you seen on tiktok so uh, i don't understand it, it's it's very stupid if you don't want to you know live that life if you don't want to be a mother that's fine that's your choice but i i do feel like it's you're doing a bit much coming online and you you're seeming to kind of bash that lifestyle in a sense are, are y'all okay that's so condescending what the fuck you mean are we okay like i i don't like that 
school life regardless of the situation that you are in. Of course, in theory, you would want to be with somebody that makes life easier for you. But unfortunately, things in life always don't transpire the way that you want it to. So you have to be an adult, a big girl, and be ready to make those adjustments when needed. And she thought that this was going to be a good story to tell, like, in favor of, like, nigga, all y'all just look like, nigga, are you crazy? Yeah. Having kids doesn't look like it's fun. Man. That don't look fun, bro. At all, it don't look like it's fun. Nah, it's silly. Remember, what's it thing? Uh, changing the diapers. It doesn't look fun. That don't look fun. Call it funny. That's so dumb. Staying up late at night, feeding your kids. That don't look fun. That don't look fun, bro. It don't look fun. It's, it's not really meant to be fun. Yeah, that's, what I'm saying. that's such a weird thing. I would have kids because it ain't fun. Like, girl, grow up. You sound so stupid. That's, that's what it's called. And start a whole new life without them, right? And she was just like, I'm stressed out. I work. I come home. I cook. My husband works. Everything is just so expensive. What, like, I can't do this anymore. And honestly, I thought she was going to break up on a light with herself. So that's what really got me, like, the nurse to me was like, girl, like, calm down. Like, let, let, we can talk this out. Let's do this, right? And the crazy thing is, I thought she was an older woman, but she's 34. She's 34. And I thought she was, like, in her 40s. She's 34. She married her husband at 19. She just was like, don't ever get married. I wasted my life. Family is overrated. Having kids is overrated. Being married is overrated. And like, she said that she like just that. wanted a break. Like, she just couldn't do it. And that if she could go back Somebody in time, she wouldn't have gotten married. She would have gotten her career. Because now she wants to go back in school and do stuff that she can't afford it because her kids are there. And she has to put all the money that she does make. She has to go to her kids. And it's just like, this is my problem. Like, this is, it's crazy how this came to me. Because it's like, you guys push women and... Who the fuck is you guys? Who's pushing? Who is you guys? What the hell is she yeah, talking know, about? Why is that so hard? Like, I don't know. If you don't want them, don't have them, bro. No one is pushing It's pushing. simple as that. Stop trying to justify the shit. Like, y'all she, weird. She says she's 34. Well, the lady. The lady, the lady's 34. So the lady's... Let, let, let me be clear. Hey, no one is definitely not pushing women right now to be married at 19. No one is doing that. That's, that's, there's no push at all. More women are going to college and starting their careers now more than ever. No one is pushing women at 19 right now get married and have kids. That's not that's not the push. At but I don't think that's what she's saying. I think she's saying that uh, women get pushed into uh, motherhood and pushed into getting married. Uh, I think she's she's referring to the societal pressure because it is a thing. Women do definitely get told like, "Oh, well, you ain't married when you ain't when you gonna have kids. Oh, you don't want kids, you gonna die alone." I mean, they do get shamed. Um, so she's not lying about that, but it's like, but still, nobody's forcing you to do shit. Like, just you could block that out, tune it out. <laughs> that's what I do. So who cares? Right now. So that's not true. Secondly, um, I'm thirty. Stop. Yeah. Oh, stop. I no, stop. No, 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 stop. 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 The fact stop. That you're really stop. Right now, bro. stop. I just need you to stop. Go ahead, bro. I need you to contain, contain I'm, yourself. I'm good. Next time, I need you to really contain yourself, bro. <laughs> what? Pause. But next time, stuff. I need you to really contain yourself. Okay. You got self control now. I'm 30. That's so She's control. 34, right? Damn, it's not far from her. Okay. I need you to breathe. 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 What's happening to anything? Good. That means that women around my age, damn, they're around her age. <laughs> <laughs> they so <Damn>. dramatic. <laughs> That's crazy. You ever get the bingo games yet? Ain't age of pushing thirty? I'm confused. Ain't he like twenty eight or something? Twenty seven? Uh, stop bringing up your age. Let's let's get it going. Come on. As someone who's not too far from her age, that means that like, the women too. that I grew up with, they also were not pressured when I was graduating high school to get married. I actually knew of a girl. When I was in when I was in high school, we were on our senior year, and she was like, "I'm gonna get married to my 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 sweetheart like at 19." And everyone thought that she was crazy. <laughs> everyone thought that she was crazy. <laughs> everyone thought that she had lost her mind. 
No one is out here pushing well, any woman to be married at 19. Yeah. This is not 1955. Even... This is in the 1800s. People getting married at 19 is an anomaly. So that woman right there, she's not normal. So that's A. But B, and more importantly, again, you just need to prepare your life. It is so odd to me when people lack preparation in their life. Now, all of a sudden, it just gives them free will to just remove themselves from responsibility. And it's so odd to me. This can only happen to a woman. Because if a man did this, oh, he's a deadbeat. Because don't you think that men who run away from their responsibilities when they have children, don't you think that they also feel overwhelmed? No, nobody's running around behind me and saying, like, oh, oh my God, are you okay? You need a napkin? Oh my goodness. Okay, we, we can go through this. We can go through this. Oh, I mean, you're working a job. Oh my God. First of all, I don't even job. believe her story. Let's oh, start there. Oh no. I don't believe her. Your significant other's also working a job. Oh my God. You just want to run away. Oh, nobody does that for me. We do not give empathy, sympathy to deadbeats. I just the thought of like looking every at conversation like, oh, needs to be male versus crazy. female and what about with that's men what and I want to be clear if, you, if it's another situation where some unfortunate event happened or you got manipulated and that's how you got kids maybe I would be a bit more you know understanding but she's married this is a man that she married that she got in a relationship with at the age of 19 when again around my age nobody thought about that at 19 years old to get married bro and also to the woman right here i don't even know why you think this is relatable to you because you're yeah, not 19 is. you're in your career field and so the problem that she's dealing with you wouldn't have to deal with exactly her. How you think that this is relatable to your life is beyond me plenty of people that dedicated their whole lives to work career lawyer this at the third by the time they're late 20s they start to really reflect in the opposite direction they're like damn bro I had all these opportunities. It was a great guy for me, and I passed up on it because I was so the grass is always greener. People that dedicate their entire lives to their career, grass is always greener. But the thing about life, guys, life is about balance. Thanks. So if you have a career you enjoy, you have a partner that appreciates you, you get along well with, and then you have a family with good balance, then you optimize for your mental health. But the second you're crying and spilling all this to random strangers that are posting this shit on TikTok, this is not it. You need help, and and hopefully the job you have has some insurance because therapy can potentially solve it. But these are also things you should say to your Y'all romanticize marriage so much so that y'all mm -hmm. just think that the end goal should be fun. It should be some form of selfishness mm -hmm. where I can just do what I want when I want. When the reality is no, but there's a lot of duty and responsibility to marriage and having Thanks. children, especially having children. And if that's something that you are not willing to accept, if that's not palatable enough to you, fine. Don't marry. Don't exactly. have children. But the, the the response in sitting here saying, oh, I don't want to be washing dishes. Are you fucking dumb? That's insane. Are you dumb? You don't have to just get someone to wash it for you or you just think called a dishwasher. The fact that y'all think that's an acceptable answer to not get married is dumb. But that's just cool. Yeah, this was so fucking stupid. So very stupid. I don't know why she got on TikTok to even share this story. Like I said, first off, I think it's Cap. I think she, you know, doesn't want kids and she's trying to uh, push this narrative that it's the worst job in the world and look what I saw y'all and are y'all okay are y'all mothers are y'all wives are y'all okay like ew I just hate everything about it I want to go to her TikTok and <laughs> talk shit <laughs> but I won't that's, that's not what the fuck I did um like I should do but um yeah I, I just think that's ridiculous um just don't be a mother if you don't want to don't be a wife if that's not what's in the cards for you girl you don't have to try to justify your decision and be like okay this is why i don't want to do it and try to use other people's uh unfortunate situations to uh justify why you're making the right decision just stick with your decision and move the fuck on i don't get it this was just dumb y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and i'll see you on the next one Bye.